Back up! Recorded at an off-campus football team breakfast about a week ago, these ninth graders at Stevenson High School in Sterling Heights thought it would be fun to make this TikTok video. I've never seen a TikTok like that. Stop resisting! All had water guns, and the kicks caused no injuries. And school officials say that all the students involved voluntarily made the TikTok video based on the tragic death of George Floyd. And they had Stevenson sweatshirts on from the football team. That's not right. The adult hosting the event was inside preparing the team breakfast and had no idea the video was being made. A week later, a concerned parent tipped off the school. I can't believe that kids are doing this. It's, I, I think it's, it's ridiculous. It's something that is completely unacceptable. And it was a joke, but it's just not funny. Maya, a 16-year-old 11th grader at Stevenson High School, protested Thursday as school was getting out. We're a really diverse school, but we don't focus on cultural awareness. Maya has a brother who plays on that same freshman football team. Things can be offensive that you wouldn't think are offensive, you know. That's why we have to look at other people's perceptions of reality because everyone is different. Officials at Stevenson High School issued the following statement. In a case where a diverse group of students involved made a poor choice, regardless if their stated intent was not to deliberately harm or antagonize others, the school will use it to help students understand why this is offensive and harmful to the social fabric of our community. Are you threatened by videos like that? Threatened? I wouldn't say that I'm threatened, but I think that it's threatening. What should happen to them? Uh, expulsion, at least, if not criminal charges. Preliminary disciplinary action was taken, but the school did not get specific, and the investigation continues to determine the final disciplinary action. In today's society, you don't know anything. In Sterling Heights, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.